Big files, slow uploads, storage always running out. We've all been there, sending a video, exporting a project, or even trying to share photos, and suddenly the file is way too large. Well, today we're checking out W Master Zip King, an all-in-one AI-powered compression tool that promises to shrink files by up to 78.4% without losing quality. Right here on this homepage, we can see exactly what it's built for. Zipking can compress and extract images, videos, PDFs, audio files, Word, Excel, PPT, and much more. All with just one click. And the best part? Zipking is completely free right now. No ads, no account, no sign-in required. That alone makes it a strong modern alternative to WinZip and 7-Zip, and it makes managing files a whole lot easier. You can shrink files without losing quality with hypercompression. Even up to 78% smaller, which means faster sharing and more space saved. Zipking doesn't just compress, it works fast. Powered by advanced AI algorithms, it delivers high-speed zipping and unzipping. With 256-bit AES encryption, you can lock files, protect folders, and secure sensitive data with ease. And if a file is too large to send or upload, no problem. Zipking lets you split big files into smaller parts, choose custom sizes, and transfer them without interruptions or platform limits. Then you can merge them back later with a single click. So, in this video, we're going to try it ourselves. We'll compress a few files, compare the before and after sizes, and see just how powerful that hypercompress feature really is. Let's get into it. So, click on Get It For Free. The installation process will be same as usual. Just click on the setup file. Set this app as default, and click on Install Now. All right. So, it's successfully got installed. So, we are on the main interface. It's so clean and easy to use. Here we have compression option to compress files. You can compress the image files, multiple PDFs, or any type of document. We have extraction option here. You can compress video files and the file management option, where you can manage all these. So, here I'll go to my PC to show up my files. So, here I have some files. Like, I have sample photos right here. There are hundreds of photos and videos, and other folders here. Now let's first begin with the compression. You can access your files from here, or from your local disk. So here I want to compress my sample pics folder, which is only like 179 megabytes, into a batch compressed. So simply, I'll right-click on it. Here you can quickly create compressed package, without waste of time. All right, so you can see it got compressed. You can also take a look at the size. Reduced a bit less, well, this is a quick standard compression. You can also preview the files inside of it. And this method is useful if you want to copy large number of files or game files or any type of data into a single batch file quickly. And here we also have a compress option. You can add this folder to compressed file, or you can create a high compression file to 7-zip. So let's add this folder to a compressed file, rename the file, and set the path where you want to save. Here we have compression options to minimize, fastest, and the custom option here. So choose the format you want. I selected the zip. You can even split into parts. I'll show this in later. Here choose the compression type you want, like standard, better, or maximum compression. If you want, you can even set the password to the file. And you can add the comment for this file. You can even delete the source after compression. Or you can self-extract the archive. After everything is set, simply click on Compress Now. All right, so it got compressed as a normal zip file size. I know this is not enough for you. But still, if you want to compress, even to lowest possible size without losing the quality, here the hypercompression will help you to reduce files to extremely high compression ratio. For any type of file, like for images, office documents, videos or audios, and even the ID photos. So let's try with images. Here, let's say I have a wallpapers folder with only 12 megabytes of size, with five images in here. I'll select them all, or you can drag and drop. Here you can see the resolution of images and their original sizes. What I do now is here select the options. We have standard, hyper, and quality. Here select the hyper compress option. Or in advanced, you can set custom settings like the target size to like. Let's set to 200 kilobytes of each image. Set the custom resolution, like I'll set it to 1080p. Choose the format, to JPG or you can leave it to original. Set the path where you want to save file, 
And remember, this is only 12.1 megabytes of original folder. Now let's start the compression. All right, so you can see here, the files are getting compressed to even lower. You can also see a lot of difference in size. It's done. Now let's open this image. And still, the quality of this image looks great. Also, this image, it looks fine. Now, after compression, the overall the image compressed file size is reduced to 960 kilobytes, which is actually insane. You can even add this folder to high compression 7 zip file. But still, if you have no idea on custom settings, you can normally use the hyper compression option, which stays on original resolution, but it will reduce the size by compression. Now you can take a look at its size reduced to 4 megabytes. Let's open this image and still the quality look as the original one on same resolution. Like it won't ruin the quality and details. And in the same way, you can also try with videos. You can compress and reduce the size of videos. So here I'll select some video files, which are almost of 3 GB of size. You can see the original size of videos. Let's set it to hyper compression. And let's see. All right, you can see the compressed size here. The first file, which is with 41 megabytes, I got compressed to only 7.5, and it's unbelievable, guys. Also, the compression speeds may vary based on your PC's performance. Here I'm doing this all on this low-end PC. All right, it's done. Here the 2.7 gigabyte of video size is reduced to over 300 megabytes. That's actually insane. Let's check out the video. And this is amazing, guys. The quality looks like the original one. Almost 88% of difference in compression size. You can same also try with your office or PDF documents. So here I'll import some PDF files. Set to hyper option. And let's compress. And there we go. Same for the word documents. You can compare both original and compressed sizes here. Now coming to another useful one. Like if you have a large file or folder and want to split it into parts, you can see this folder size is almost 3 GB. What I do now is add this folder to a compressed file. Here choose custom option, set the format, select the split size you want. Like I'll choose 700 MB to standard compression. Set the password if you want, it's optional. Here I'll create a separate folder for split files. So set the path. Now start compress now. It's done. Let's go to this folder. And there we go. The file got compressed into parts. Like if you have large data files and want to transfer to another person, this is useful. You can do follow this method. Same if you again want back to normal folder. You can extract all the parts as usual. And there we go. You can compress and decompress the files using this tool efficiently. And in the same way, you can use this tool for any type of file. You can also be able to extract or preview this image ISO file. Or you can extract the file to a folder as regular ones. All right. And that's pretty much the takeaway. The real magic of this tool is that hyper-compress feature. This impressed me a lot. Like it can take huge files of images, videos, audio, PDFs, or office documents and shrink them big time while still keeping the quality looking really good. That honestly makes a huge difference when you're sharing or storing files every day. And now let's talk about the pricing. And yes, this is for real. Zipking is completely free right now. No subscription is required at all. You just download it and start compressing. That's it. It's a solid alternative to others, but with way better compression power and a clean interface. And if you want to try it out, head over to Page. I've dropped the link in the description. Don't miss the hyper compress option. It's really cool. Saves a lot of space. And thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.